I gave them the news call, Department of APM, Assistant Professor from Dutu Vidyapi Government University. Today, our session is human nature and advantages nothing from new information. So, we will understand here what is the meaning of ICT, what are the applications, what are the advantages, and the methods of new information. So now we will discuss how ICT works. It works for high quality, meaningful, and culturally responsive digital content must be available to teach at environment. Teacher must have the knowledge and the skills to use the new digital tools and resources to help all students achieve high academic achievement. So what is actually teaching by the help of ICT? It is a high quality, culturally responsive digital content that must be available for teachers and learners. Teacher must have the knowledge and the skills to use the new digital tools and resources to help all the students achieve high academic standards. Now, generation of teachers to effectively use the new learning tools in their teaching practices. For many teachers, education programs is dotting the task requires the addition of new resources, expertise, and careful planning in approaching this task to be helpful to the students. Okay, so what does uh, by the generation of teachers who effectively use their new learning tools in their teaching practices for many teacher education programs, this starting task requires the acquisition of new resources, expertise, and help careful planning in approach of this task. Now, the impact of technology on global society and the uh, implications for education. The extensive knowledge that has been generated about how people learn and what is means for creating more effective and engaging students centered learning environments. The state of teacher development and at the and the levels of adoption of ICT by the teachers. Critical importance of context, culture, leadership, vision, lifelong learning, and changes process in planning for the integration of technology into the teacher education. The ICT competition required for teachers related to content, pedagogy, technical issues, social issues, collaboration, and network. So what does the teacher development level of adoption of ICT by teachers? The critical importance of content cultural leadership, vision, lifelong learning, and the changes process in planning for the integration of technology into the teacher education. The ICT competition required of teachers related to content, pedagogy, technical issues, social issues, collaboration, and networking. Now, the importance of development, developing a standard to guide implementation of ICT in teacher education. It's essential condition for successful integration of ICT into teacher education. The importance of ICT to consider in planning for the inclusion of ICT in teacher education and managing the training process. So, what does uh, the development of the standard guide day by day including the technology, ICT, education? Essential condition for successful integration of ICT into teacher education is important to be considered in planning for the inclusion of ICT in teacher education and management and resources. The importance of developing standards to guide the implementation of ICT in teacher 
होती तो एसेंशियल कंडीशन फॉर सक्सेसफुल इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ आईसीटी इन द फ्यूचर एजुकेशन इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट दिस इज कंसीडर्ड इन प्लानिंग फॉर द इंक्लूजन ऑफ आईसीटी इन फ्यूचर एजुकेशन इन मॉडल इंस्टीट्यूशन so by using the ict considering the planning for the inclusion of ict in the education and management of education so thank you to all for being like this video chairman ji and all the members i use the link